So Beret, um, L-glutamine was recently approved by the FDA in 2017 for the treatment of sickle cell disease. Can you share with us how does it work? What does it do? How effective is it? And is it used alone with hydroxyurea? Is it for all genotypes, sickle cell SS? What are your, what are your thoughts about Indari? So based on the clinical trial results that were published, I think last year, um, it was a randomized control, placebo-controlled clinical trial, a couple hundred patients uh, randomized either to placebo or daily of glutamine. Um, what they showed was there was a reduction in the median annualized frequency of pain crises by about 25% over placebo. And I think on that basis, they got FDA approval, probably also on the basis of the, uh, that in the study they saw very little toxicity. Um, I guess commonly reported side effects have included some uh, nausea, um, some dyspepsia. Uh, it's important that people know that this is not a pill, uh, even though it's an oral formulation. Important, it's a yeah. powder mm -hmm. that has to be mixed and ingested twice a day. Okay. And okay. yeah, so I, you can imagine there might be some dyspepsia associated with that. And it's, it's it, you know, it, it got FDA approval. Uh, for its indication, and I've, I've personally seen that in some patients it really works to reduce their pain crisis frequency. Um, I think what has been challenging for some patients is the, the formulation um, and having to, to, to drink something twice a day and remember to do it is a bit burdensome in the GI side effects. Um, so I, I think the mechanism of action is a little bit unclear, and I know that there's some work being done to, to fine tune that a little bit more, but you know, it's, it's, it's um, uh, it works as an antioxidant. Um, it is pharmaceutical grade L-glutamine. A lot of people ask, well, can't I just get this from my local GNC? <laughs> GNC? And if Amazon. You yeah, if you talk to the manufacturer, they'll say, you know, this was this was developed in a pharmaceutical grade fashion, um, tightly regulated. Every every patient is getting the same exact dose. So, um, like I said, I think in a, in some patients it really works, and in some patients, I think uh, the jury's still out. And it's important to know that it's heat sensitive. So if you put it in a place where it gets exposed to heat, it deactivates the medication. 